What issues will President Obama discuss on his trip to Latin America this week? President Obama is expected to underline the importance of mutual prosperity and of cooperation in his trip to Latin America this week. He's also going to speak about the importance of strong trade relations as a way to boost jobs both here and abroad, and also is expected to touch on issues of energy, environment, and security. Why is our growing Latino population good for U.S.-Latin American relations? Latinos are natural ambassadors to the region, and the fact that the Latino community is growing in the U.S should be good news uh, for U.S.-Latin America relations. Hispanic businesses are one of the fastest growing segments of small businesses in the United States. That's according to the U.S. Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Also, Hispanics can take advantage of the opportunities that better trade relations would create, both by creating jobs here in the U.S. as well as creating opportunities for uh, business with Latin America. Another example of ways in which the U.S. and Latin America benefits from the growing um, Latino population in the U.S. are hometown associations. Hometown associations are organizations that have been formed by mostly recent immigrants that not only focus on integration, meaning creating, for example, English classes of, or promoting citizenship, but they also engage in raising money to support uh, international aid. For example, they raise money to build hospitals, schools, or roads in their country of origins. And these hometown associations are examples of how uh, these communities come together to promote economic empowerment, international aid, as well as civic participation, both here in the U.S. as well as in Latin America. How can U.S.-Latin America relations be mutually beneficial? Central and South America are emerging markets and becoming key players in the global economy. Central and South America's rapid pace of growth, almost 6% in 2010, definitely create opportunities for more jobs. Good trade policies that promote strong environmental and labor protections would also fuel economic growth, both in Latin America as well as in the U.S.